In this Roblox Studio tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a game over GUI. So basically, when you die in your game, we have a GUI that pops up and lets you know that you have died. And along with that, we have a point system that can add or subtract points on your leader stat system. Okay, so let's jump right in and I'll show you guys how to make this. First thing you want to do is go over right in the starter GUI in your explorer. And you're going to want to insert an object. You're going to want to insert a screen GUI. There it is. Okay, and now inside this screen GUI, you're going to want to insert a local script. Here we are. Okay. So in this local script, you're just going to want to follow along and put game dot players dot local player dot character and then you want to do colon wait for child and then humanoid dot died and then you want to do connect function and then you're going to want to skip the skip to the next line and then in this you're going to want to put script whoops here you go want to pull you're going to put script.parent dot game over dot visible equals true and then that's it for now. Okay, so next we're going we're to want to go back to this screen GUI and we're going to want to insert a text label. And then make sure you name this game over. Okay, so next we're, we can just change this to whatever we like. First you're going to want to change the size. You're going to if you click down here, you can change the scale to 1 for the X and Y, and then set the offset to 0 on, bo on both of them. Okay. Next, we're going to go down to the text, and you can just call, you can make it say whatever you like. You can say, you can make it say, game over. And you can change the font if you want, and you can turn on text scale. And we can also change how it looks, so we can change the background color. Maybe we want it to be like a red, or we can make it like a, probably some sort of gray color would be nice. And then you can also change the border color and other stuff. And we're just going to change the, the text color. We're just going to change it to maybe like a red color. Maybe something like that. Okay, and then we can also change, if you want, you can change the the stroke color. And then you can change the transparency to zero. So now it has that outline around it. And I think that's good for now. We can also change it up a bit. We can make it a red and we can make it like a darker red. I think that looks kind of cool. And I think that's good for our text. And now you're going to want to go up and you're going to want to go to visible and you want to uncheck that so that you can't see it. Okay, I think that's it for the first part. If we go ahead and test it out, we go over here and if we die, so we can just reset character, it says game over. And then it should pop back up as soon as you respawn. Okay, so now if you want to hook up your game over GUI with leader stats, so that when you die, you can either receive or lose cash. All you have to do is you want to go back to your local script, and you're going to type in the following. You're going to type in game dot, oh, it's game, get service, and then you're going to do replicated storage, and then you're going to do dot remote event, and then fire server, and then you're going to make these brackets here, and inside these brackets is the amount that you will either receive or lose. So let's say we want to receive or lose 
a hundred cache, we just put a hundred right there. And then next we're going to go to the replicated storage and insert a remote event. And then if you don't have your leader stat set up, let's say if you already have like if you already have like a leader stats that would be shown over here in the game, if you already have that set up, you don't need to worry about this script, but if you don't, all you have to do is I have this thing that you can paste right here, and this is just the leader stat script right here that can make the leader stats for you. So it just has this which makes the leader stats and then it has the points in the leader stats. And you can rename this to whatever you like. So if you want to call your leader stats cache, you can rename it cache. Okay, so now you want to go to the server script service and you're going to insert a script. And in this script, you're going to going to type in game get service and then you're going to do replicated storage oops and then you're going to do dot remote event dot on server event and then you can do connect function and then player and then drop a line and then do game dot players and then you can do player dot name dot leader stats and then you want to do dot whatever your currency is called so if we named this cache right here you would change it to cache if we renamed it to points you would call it points so we just will set this to cache and then we'll do dot value equals and then go ahead just copy this right here and then paste it and then you can do plus or minus amount and that reminds me right here you want to do player comma amount okay so right here you can do plus or minus it doesn't matter so if you have like a hundred cash right here you can make it so they can either add a hundred cash or lose a hundred cash it's up to you so we're gonna make it so when they die they have it adds a hundred cash so if we go here and test it out now As you can see, we have our cache right here, and if we go ahead and click reset character, so if we die, we'll get 100 cache. And we have our screen that says game over. Alright guys, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.